Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to test your AWS Cognitos app client settings using OpenIDConnect.net. Let's start by searching for Cognito on the AWS console, then click on Manage User Pools. Click on Create a User Pool, then give your pool a name. Step through the settings one by one and configure as necessary. I'm going to leave most of the settings to default. In the app client section, click on add an app client and give it a name. Hit the create app client button and keep going until you reach the review screen. After reviewing your settings, hit the create pool button. Next, click on app client settings and select Cognito user pool. Next, Copy the redirect URL from openidconnect.net and paste it into the callback URL text box. In the OAuth section, select authorization code grant and for scopes, select email, OpenID and profile. Now click on domain name and enter a domain prefix. Go back to the app client settings, then click on launch hosted UI. Before we can sign in, we need to create a user. Click on users and groups, then hit create user. Enter the credentials, then click create user. Use these credentials to sign in, then give your user a new password. As expected, the hosted UI successfully redirected to openidconnect.net. Next, click on configuration, then choose custom for the server template. For discovery document, use this cognito-idp URL. Just make sure to use the appropriate region and pool ID. To get your pool ID, go to general settings. After pasting the URL, click on use discovery document. This should populate all the token endpoints automatically. To get your client ID and secret, click on app clients, then show details. For scope, I'm going to select open ID, profile, and email, then hit save. Now we are ready to test the complete flow. Click on start, and you should be redirected to your hosted UI. Enter your credentials, then hit sign in. You should see an access code return back. To turn that access code into an access token, make this post request. To your token endpoint. This time you should see an ID underscore token return back to you. Hit next to verify that your ID token was sent from the right place. Click verify to see your decoded token payload. Here you can verify your Cognito username and email as well. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.